All right, so today we are putting the shifter in the rusty. So a little update along the way. No sections on. You saw that in the last video and the plates in there. I've got a horn on over there now, you can sort of see that. But the seats are kind of mounted in there too. So before we can carry on, I need to know exactly where the shifter is gonna go. So the seats are mounted, they're in their tracks there. I also put the uh, speakers, or one set of speakers in there anyway. Still haven't got them wired or powered up yet, but you get the you get the gist there. So today I wanna to put the, the shifter in there and just put it between the seats and come up with the, the location for it. I'll show you the shifter linkage underneath there. So the floorboards are off right now, but this is the shifter link, which goes up to the transmission under there. And that needs to connect to the shifter. So it needs to come through the floor here somehow. And of course I want to leave the wiring there. So we're have, gonna have to make a hoop to go across the tunnel and to uh, get it where I want it to go. So the shifter, interesting development on the shifter part is, um, so the owner got this off eBay, which is a really cool looking piece, but I, I wanna use the switches. Apparently this is a double switch. You get this China hat switch here, I think it's called, and a couple of momentary buttons. But uh, the only one that works is this one. So after going through the, the wiring that I found online for this thing, I can, in going through the pin connectors, the only one that works is this one down here. So that's probably why there's this red paint on here. So rather than going, um, buying another one of these things off eBay, we got this couple of hundred bucks. We'll just buy one of these uh, aircraft simulator ones. So let's rip this thing open. What is it? F8, F18 Hornet. Thrustmaster, don't need that. Don't need that, don't need that. All right, so this is brand spanking. Wow, this is actually pretty nice. And um, this one has some sort of, I guess, connector for the joystick base, but we're gonna lose that anyway. So what I'm hoping here is that we can use most of these momentary, where the momentary switches. This one's gonna be kind of awkward though. We got that. That same old China hat switch here on this one. Maybe we can still use that for the speakers. I don't know. With this one, I don't know if we can use that one or not yet. So let's um, let's rip this thing open and check out these switches. You notice, so each one of these switches has its own pin connector. I think it's like 17 pins down there, right? That's fine. This one. It's got, I don't know how many switches on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight switches, but it's only got, and you can see that in there. It's got like six pins in there, six pin connector. So um, obviously there's something more going on inside this. So let's, let's gut it and see what we can do. Well, oh damn. We got a lot of a lot of guts in here, a lot of electronics. But it looks like I guess each one of these switches goes back to another one of these connectors here. So we're not going to use the board in here. So let's we can literally unplug each one of these and just use the switch itself. So I use these two wires to go down to whatever I want it to control via relay or whatever. And the connector couldn't get much easier than that. We got two. It's had a Torx there and there was a Torx that held the two halves together. Undo those and it looks like this whole unit will come off, but let's see what size that works out to be. Of course, it's something metric, just over 625, just over 5 eighths. So it's at 615, 16, somewhere in there. Either way, easy enough to make. So, Okay, next step it would be to, let's mount this thing in the car. Let's start making some brackets. Oh, 
Okay, so the idea is now that the seats are gone, we can make a hoop that goes across the tunnel. I don't know, it doesn't have to be a hoop, but I could put one bolt here and have the shifter come up, but it would be kind of wiggly. If I put two bolts there, the shifter would be quite solid. So I'm gonna make a hoop that goes across the wiring and maybe in this hoop, I can replicate some of the, the holes we put in the dash here. And then on the top of the hoop, just have a, a 5 8 plug that matches the, the bottom of the shifter and that can sit on there. And then we also got a, a tube that the wiring can run down and start to follow uh, the wiring that's in the car. Um, let me pop this forward up. The hoop, it'll have to come down and, and join up to this linkage bar here. And uh, it, the throw isn't very far, it only moves, I don't know, it's out there, park. Reverse, neutral drive, and the lower gear. So it only moves, I don't know, an inch and a half. So we can have this come up pretty good. I've got lots of uh, mechanical advantage there. So um, yeah, kind of funny. You see these these weld patches here. This is the old shifter hole, and that's the old e-brake hole. And I welded them up during the during all the modifications. But it looks like I'm gonna I'm gonna open them up again. So let's get building a hoop and uh, start mocking some stuff up. Literally cut sections out of the floor so I could get in there with a cutoff wheel, but I'll just weld those back in when I need them. So that's kind of how the action is going to work. The uh, just as a pivot, then the actual shifter unit. I'll just weld a, a 5 8 plug to the top of that, and then I'll bolt into the bottom of that. Um, yeah, that's kind of. Kind of it. I got some room to, some wiggle room to play in there, but it's kind of like park, reverse, neutral drive kind of deal. Still want to be able to see these gauges. This will just be ancillary lights and stuff, so that's not really important to be able to access, quick access anyway, but it's there. Yeah, I don't know. Let's mock it up. Let's drill some holes. Get some pivots. Keep going. So, shifter's kind of in. I just got two 5 16 bolts going through the tunnel right there now. Hold it in position so I can rock it back and forth there. So it's kind of tracking where I need it to right now. So, I'll probably make some, some nylon bushings to shim up in here. This one will be cut short and uh, there's no reason to have that to go below the floor. I figured I'd put the pivots above the floor so I have a longer throw on the bottom uh, where the shifter linkage will connect so I won't have to move this, move the top part as far when I'm actually going through the gears like park, reverse, neutral, drive, and so on, right? So uh, I'm gonna clean that up 
and radius this off and then probably on the other side now back to this side we'll need to again clean this one up make an island bushing for the back side um, and extend see where the linkage bar is there so i have to modify the linkage bar and that um, the shifter unit itself to connect to that and uh, yeah, so let's, let's keep going So that's a super quick mock-up. You can tell by the vice grips in there. Let me just move that shim under there. So I just had to rebend the adjuster linkage and I just put an angle bracket connected to the, the hoop there. But if I pull on this, let's see if I can do this with one hand on the camera. Should hopefully, yeah. So park, reverse, neutral, drive. Vice grips are getting in the way of it. All right, so let's, I think that'll work as far as the placement of the hoop. I might bend that just a little bit more forward there. All right, so I'm gonna tack that, uh, put some nuts on the pivots on the back side. make sure I got the shims in there, and then uh, start making the adapter for the grip. All right, so linkage is on, welded bracket to the hoop. And it seems to get all gears. So park, reverse, neutral, drive, three, two, and one and down there somewhere. So there we go. Woot, woot. All right, so how this adapter works, is it appears to be cast something, but it's just over five eighths. So, Let's get a 5 8 bar. Probably chamfer, this is an old piece of dom I had. I'll probably just chamfer that out so it doesn't hang up on any wiring. Maybe even drill that out to a, a larger diameter. I think I get lots of wiring through there though. And then, um, do, 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 do. I just gotta make a mount. Fits in there. That'll hold it in the same way that this did. So, so I just need to build a couple tabs. And that's about one inch as well, maybe a hundred thou. Hundred thou. All right. So first thing, make some tabs, and then uh, hold the pipe in the grip, and then maybe I can just. Uh, Tack those little tabs on there with a TIG. All right, let's make some make some tabs. All right, so got these little baby tabs made there, which should replicate the size of those things. All right. So now, if I if I got to clamp that in there somehow. Just gotta go clamp that in place and bolt those down through the holes there. And then uh, ticky tack them in place. All right. Let's assemble it. Lots of little filing. Just 
make that absolutely fit snug. <laughs> sort of see how that's coming together there. So now I'm going to put the cover on and that'll capture that side of it. This will have to come apart a bit a million times, but to do the wiring and paint it and all that other stuff see yet. So, but all right. It seems pretty solid, actually. All right, let's take it to the car. So what I'll have to do is probably put the seat back in and just nail the height because obviously if I left it that long, it's a bit too long, right? I'm clearly getting away the steering wheel and stuff, so I'll have to bring it down. I'm thinking maybe, maybe there would be fun. It's only a couple inches. And that's where the, you get your hand there, you can still, Actually, you can see the gauge is right beside the, the handle. Mind you, that's only when it's in park. You can still access the air ride, iPad, and that's in park. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna mark that and tack and replace there. Okay. All right. That's better. That's not bad at all. So I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna tack it slightly offset actually. So you get a better better eyeball on those gauges there. Alright, I'm gonna tack it in. All right, so I'm kind of digging that for now. So much cleaning up, but it's in rough. So this way I can get a better look at it. I can work it through its range of motion and see how it's gonna operate. So I'm gonna carry on detailing that. I'm getting it in, putting the seats in, maybe readjusting it here and there. But that's, that's kind of it for now. You get the gist of what I'm what I'm going for there. So, uh, next it's, what are we gonna do next? Wiring. So, once I get that nailed in place, I gotta take it all apart and rewire the switches in there. Remember that PC board, I gotta remove the PC board. Rewire all the switches, bring it to the bottom, integrate it into the loom, and then run the wiring where it needs to go up and under the dash and so on. So. That's the next stage. And then I can start putting all this wiring to bed and start wrapping the stuff up for the final, final time. Um, what do you think? Weird looking baby camera head doll thing. I don't know why he brought that in, but it's creepy. It's just become part of the car. Anyway, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to keep following along, subscribe. That'd be cool. And uh, see you in the next video.